Hey kids, let's go and see what Tango Spice has on the tube. Good afternoon, YouTubers. It's Sunday, March 14th. It's about 2 o'clock, 2.30 in the afternoon, and it's a, oh, it's a real nice 40 degrees out here. Now, of course, it's also foggy and rainy and cloudy, which uh, could mean one thing. It's only the uh, our local St. Patrick's Day parade. So we're gonna have a parade, it might as well rain. So I figured in uh, solidarity with all the people who are out there in the rain today in the parade, I'll be out here and I'm gonna make some Guinness stew. Nothing better for a St. Patrick's Day uh, parade day in the rain and having a nice hot steaming bowl of stew. So uh, that's what we're gonna be doing today. And that's who we're outside, out here in the Tango Test Kitchen. So welcome to YouTube and let's meet the ingredients. Six slices of thick smoked bacon, three pounds of well-trimmed stew beef, three medium-sized russet potatoes, not peeled but cleaned, a regular yellow onion, and two stalks of celery. Need a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of thyme, and also some crushed rosemary. I like to put in some ancho powder for some smoky heat, a little bit of salt, some freshly cracked pepper, and add some brown sugar, a little bit of flour. Of course, the star of the show, some Guinness. Oh yeah. Can't forget the pearl onions. And also a couple of carrots. Yeah, the first thing we do is we're gonna chop up all the vegetables. Get those in nice big chunks, because hey, it's a stew, it's probably gonna be on there for two, two and a half hours. So nice big chunks of the carrots and the potatoes and the onions. So uh, let's do that up before we do the bacon. Okay, now we can start cooking. So first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna take those six slices of smoked bacon and heat them up in the Dutch oven. Just mess them around, don't get them too brown, just cook them real nice. Yeah, it is getting a little foggy out here. So, uh, yeah, happy parade day. Let's cook some bacon. You know, it's just one of those things in nature. No matter how foggy or rainy or cloudy it is, as long as you're frying bacon, everything seems fine.
Another good thing about making Guinness stew is Guinness actually comes in six packs and I only needed two. So, uh, cheers. It's been on the smoker for about an hour. So open up the smoker, stir the uh, stew up a little bit, add some seasonings, give it a little bit of a taste, and set it for about another hour. Another hour, we have a nice steaming bowl of Guinness stew. So now we have about an hour to kill while the beef and the bacon stew itself to goodness in the Guinness with all the vegetables. So, hmm, what could we do for about an hour? Let me think. Well, one thing you can do while we're waiting for the uh, stew to get done is pick up a pair of these and play some horseshoes. What the heck? Skies are gray. It's the end of winter, almost springtime. So, let's throw some horseshoes. So it's been another hour since the stew's been simmering in the Brinkman, and I'm dying for a taste. Oh, the taste of goodness, it's starting to rain. Yeah. Here's what I tell you, a steaming bowl of goodness on a winter's day. Coral onions, the beef, oh, a piece of bacon, carrots, potatoes, this stuff is incredible. A nice hot bowl of stew on a cold winter's day. So here we are in the middle of March 2010. It's parade day here on the north shore of Long Island. And uh, yep, it's raining again. It's coming down. <laughs> Lucky with the stew's pretty much done. Tell you what. This is gonna be good stuff. Nice bowl of goodness here just for uh, St. Patrick's Day. In the rain, here on Long Island, it's Tango Spice on YouTube. And as always, thanks for watching, thanks for eating. Hope you enjoyed.